जी आई बेल जी आई बेल जोरिंग द टाइम ऑल सोल्जर कैन गो टू स्कूल द प्रेसिडेंट विल गिव देम बुक सप्लाई बुक एंड पैक इन मनी आई वाज इन द फिलीपींस आई वाज रेमिंग रिसीविंग वन हंड्रेड डॉलर्स and pre book i applied first time technical course radio technician my training officer is mr bam kak training officer of the veterans i applied so i go to school for technical course when i finish i am a diploma for radio technician uh, i am not contented so what i did i enrolled in the university of santo tomas i took a liberal arts pre law I I finished only forty one units. I did not finish that. I did not finish that because, you know, I cannot continue my study during that time. I already am pumped. <coughs> In a way, I was able to finish forty one units. Are you tired? You need to sit down. Um, we could pause just for a second uh, while I change the memory sticks. Okay. And then we can keep going. Um, does anyone need a drink of water? Are you doing okay, Denise? Oh, yeah, you can open your eyes if you want. Okay. And um, does Ramon want a drink of water, Denise? Or can you check in? Uh, do you need a Do you need a drink of water or anything? Are you doing okay? Do you need water? Looks like there's a water thing. Right water pitcher? Mm-hmm. There is one. Uh, you got too many cables. Uh, there's one there. Uh, why don't you have a drink? That one there. Oh. I am, I'm sure I can give you something to eat. Two hours. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. So you're gonna put in a memory stick for some yeah, more hours. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. Actually, so we can go for a whole other hour here, or really hour and a half, but yeah, maybe an hour. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Ramon. I think. Uh, yeah, we're recording. See some light on. Kind of. This doesn't seem all that bright. Maybe. Well, I don't want to, you know, blast them out. Okay. We're still kind of okay, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I I don't think we have enough time. Uh, I have a whole hour. Uh, hour or hour. Because I would like to tell you yeah. when I transferred to the Navy, uh, I, I was working for DOD, Department of Defense during Korean Vietnam War. I was. Oh wow! Okay, we got to hear about this too. So actually, I think we do have time, don't we, Denise? Yeah. Oh. Ramon, is it okay if I sit down on your bed? Yeah, Dan. You don't mind? Okay. I may actually kind of lay down. I hope you don't mind. Yeah. We'll okay. Put head, we'll put your head on here in a minute. Yeah. And you want to take a sip of this? <laughs> Ramon, you're doing a great job. You're wonderful. Thank you so much. So happy for you. Yeah. And, uh, oh, and we want to hear all about your Navy career. Lay down. Thank you. And uh, we want to hear about your wife and your kids. Yeah, and and that's so. what. That's what I want. That that that's will coming. be the, the, <laughs> the next topic. Okay. Well, you're good, Denise. Yeah, you're good to go. Okay. Thank you, Ramon. Okay. You're very kind. You're taking so we, liberal uh, arts. So we got plenty of time yeah. to keep talking, right? Yeah, Denise, take it right and then. And we'll come <laughs> back again. You can't sleep there. 
Yeah. So, so take your time, and again, thank you, Ramon. Take uh, your time. You're welcome. Okay, so I could just pick it up where you left off. Hmm. Okay. So, I was taking that course. I wanted to have finished kind of degree, you know. But during that time, I already have lots of responsibility. I get married and I have one thing. That's why I ask permission from my training officer, Mr. Babka, that I want to go to America. I told him that. He said, what Raymond? Are you crazy? You finish your course first? I cannot. I already have responsibility. Very important I am. My wife, I don't want them to stop. I want, I need a job. So Mr. Babke said, okay, you can go. But be sure to continue your studies and you go to school in California. I said, okay. But, but I wind up and working in the veteran hospital in Espalio Alto. Espalio Alto. My job there, you know, the big fence. You know, Bittirajna, some of them, they cannot take care of themselves. We are guarding them because they, they climb and go out. So I was there working. <coughs> Mr. Miss Bob, Miss Still was the head nurse. So I worked you know, during the night. We inspect the soldiers who are in bed, whether who are sick or not. Big, <coughs> big world, big building in Palo Alto. It's, it's Palo Alto. And this is what year now? Uh, what year, roughly? I arrived here August 16, 1950. 1950? I left in Manila July 29. So this is about 1950. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, we pick up uh, the ship I rode is General Gordon. We pick up dependents there in in Japan and then bring to Oakland. Yeah, that is what I did. Went to America and uh, I worked in the Bay Hospital. But I'm worried my family, I cannot, I cannot see them. In Kishon City, they will leave behind. <coughs> so, I. I told Mrs. Steele that uh, I want to transfer to the Navy. He want me to stay there. No, no, Mr. Please give me a chance because I have a family uh, in Philippines. 
I want to see it. He says, he says, okay, Raymond. So I, tra I transfer to the, the name of that the name of the uh, transport is MSTS. There are big ship transport in our Woken, in our Walden, in our Patnik, in our Geiger, in our Barrett. I just want to transfer from one ship to another. So, yeah, when I arrived there, when I resigned, uh, I transferred uh, to image transport, military transportation service. That is the significant from MSTS. And later on, they changed that name when uh, Vietnam War was over. The Cento Military Transportation Service, Pacific Area Command. Now the office of that is Virginia. That I knew. It's still running in my state. Still going. You know, bringing cargo. It's a cargo ship. Yeah. Not, not passenger ship. So that's why they had a end. Well, I, I was working. I, I began to this the lowest category of the wiper. Cleaning the machinery. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. So long as you have a job. Hmm. That's what I do. But I, I don't stop. I always take his job. Go to Coast Guard. You know the next, the next job you can get. Fireman from Wiper, the next water tender, water tender, is the one who man the gauges. You can see the temperature and pressure of oil. That's the most important. The air, you know that it's stuck. You see that it's stuck, uh, blue and white. That is the job of water tender. Oh, okay. You have to adjust that the proper amount, the proper temperature of the oil going to the burner, to the boiler. And then about the air, if it's too much air, is white. It, <laughs> if it's not, not enough, oh boy, it's very black. The captain will shout. <laughs> you can say that sometimes. Uh, ship, ship stuck. That was white pair of water tender and uh, oil and yeah. oil, oil on the machinery. Yeah. Wiper, uh, I miss. Wiper, fireman, fireman and then water tender. That yeah. is the one who adjusts those 